welcome back to my channel and to day five of vlogmas where i am counting down the 12 days of christmas with creativity crafts ideas as well as some daily peeks into my life today i wanted to share a, another fun and simple wrapping idea this one is for once again those of you who enjoy putting a creative twist on your gift wrapping during the holidays and that is turning those gifts into something that feels like either a version of a gingerbread house or even a winter village. I shared this process way back in 2016 over on my blog and it is something that I actually use every single year during the holidays because I think it's a fun way to put a different twist on that wrapping. I really enjoy using brown craft paper or recycled brown grocery bags or even the craft paper or brown paper that often comes in packaging. I will upcycle, recycle it, and use it in my wrapping. It's that brown color paired with the white designs that I'm going to be using that create more of that gingerbread look and feel. But you could take this approach, the idea of a winter house, a winter village on those packages and apply it to different colors of paper. I have used everything from black butcher paper to a solid red or solid green to draw over the top of when it comes to this approach with drawing on that gift wrapping. Something else to keep in mind is that you want to make sure your gift is protected from anything bleeding through. So I have tried this a number of different ways over the years. I've actually tried to create my own paper before wrapping with the houses and it just doesn't work the same way. So I actually prefer to wrap everything up and then use that wrap surface as my creative surface. So that means you want to make sure if you are using any kind of pens that bleed through, you want to maybe wrap your present in butcher paper or tissue paper just give it some protective barrier so whatever you're drawing over the top of does not completely bleed through and wreck your gift that you are giving now, this is an approach that I really enjoy using if I am in a time crunch or if I maybe don't have colorful wrapping paper on hand I personally always have brown paper on hand throughout the year I use it all the time in my own art so it is something easy and simple I can grab, wrap something up, and then instead of using bows and ribbons and all sorts of colorful items to decorate, I will just use my own drawings over the top of that gift. And I love the idea of taking a gingerbread theme or the theme of like a little winter village, a winter city, a winter house, and drawing over the top of those square rectangular packages. Something really fun and creative about making use of the shape of your package and seeing what kind of interest interesting and unique little house or building you can fit within that space. So I am using a couple of different white Posca paint pens as well as one of my favorite white pens which is the white Uniball Signo and I am literally just doodling on that surface. You're going to notice my houses are pretty simple triangle on top of a square with tons of embellishments and it's all those little embellishments little dots a wreath um, snowflakes hearts they are the thing that adds that look and feel of maybe a decorative gingerbread house like the frosting and the little frosting details you find on a gingerbread house that really transform the simplicity of a doodled house into something that looks really fun and whimsical. I think this is a fun way to also personalize a gift. So if you have a person in your family or a friend that you're giving to, you could draw a little house based on perhaps their house or maybe a place you all have been together really put your own unique creative twist on the things that you add is a fun way to I don't know create like a little wink or nod to the person you are giving that gift to and again this takes a little bit more time than a traditional way of wrapping a gift but it's a fun way to incorporate some little creative moments into your busy holiday season one year I challenged myself to wrap all of my gifts in this way and it was really really fun to see all these different stacked and layered houses and little villages underneath the tree and then other years sometimes I will just pick one or two presents pair them with a colorful wrapped packaging or stack them together it's a really really fun process that you can get creative with in a variety of different ways of course because I love making use of scraps or 
or cuttings from my wrapping process. I will take any scrap pieces of paper and even turn them into little tags with additional little whimsical houses on them. Another fun way to use those castaways and scraps and make use of those supplies in a creative way to really personalize and add a unique twist to that wrapping. So I'm gonna let you all watch me work through a couple more of these little houses and hopefully this inspires you to think creatively about the way that you wrap things, even think creatively about simple supplies and ways that you can use your art, creativity, drawing or doodling process to really transform those gifts into something personalized and special. Mm -hmm.